Galactic family. All are one. Each and every one of you are individual and, at this very moment, the only moment, the eternal and infinite moment, in fact in this sacred moment, you are one with Source, Father slash Mother slash God. There is no separation. There is only one, but as humans in physical form, you remain unaware of it. Intellectually many have accepted this truth, but very few have distanced themselves enough from their ego personalities to actually know and live it. To awaken is to know yourself as truly and eternally, one with the whole, and in that knowledge, you are in eternal peace, joyfully fulfilling your creative potential in the most beautiful and harmonious union with your Heavenly Father. You do not need anything, and you do not want anything, because He has already given you everything, Himself and all creation. In your human state, apparently separated from your source in the spiritual or heavenly realms, it suggests that you are one with God and, and with others, but this does not make sense to the vast majority that is totally involved in the physical environment of 3D that the illusion offers so effectively. The physical environment is a huge distraction. And yet, because it seems to involve and surround you, and you, as a human being, have to deal with it constantly, because your physical bodies, through your egos, make constant and extremely urgent demands, food, shelter, sleep, acceptance, security. However, as your spiritual guides, mentors and channels continue to say, when you listen to them and hear them, you are part of the vast field of energy of love in which the entire divine creation has its eternal and infinitely joyful existence. Yes, there is an individuality that expresses itself beautifully in an infinite number of creative ways or, more appropriately, through creative thoughts or ideas, while at this very moment, you are one. The human experience you are going through is just a single idea that you share in your own individual life. This is very clear to you when there are disagreements with each other. But in the vastness that is love, that is, all, that is, Father slash Mother slash God slash Source, unity is always in perfect divine harmony. To put it very simply, it is like a huge orchestra where each instrument joins under the command to play a divine symphony or other orchestral work, perfectly. I repeat, there is only one. What you experience as human beings is unreal, a continuous dream that continues for as long as you choose to become involved with it. It sounds very demanding, that is your purpose, and so occupies almost all your attention. So much so that, even if you want and intend to enter, in your sacred inner sanctuary, you feel very strongly that you cannot afford the time. But when you enter and allow the love that resides there forever to embrace and comfort you, time seems to stop, and your worries simply disappear. Then your ego interrupts this state of intense peace, suggesting that this is nothing more than a daydream, wasting your time and that you need to withdraw to attend to the important things in life. But the state is not a daydream, it is a brief glimpse of reality, which gives it strength and faith to renew its intention to be loving in all interactions and in all situations. And those of you who follow your intention know that what you experienced so briefly was really reality for your loving intentions and motivations soften your daily life experiences as human beings. Everything you need to wake up is with you in every moment, but your ego can convince you that it is not so, and then convince you to stop wasting time and get on with life. But reality is where you live, and the more powerfully you can accept that idea and engage only with love in your daily human life the more gently your experience of being human on earth will flow. Then your energy field, love, will expand as you allow it to do so, affecting everyone with whom you interact in some way, very beautifully.
This is how the process of awakening to humanity is put into practice, each of you pretending and intending to be who you really are, love, in every moment. The more you practice doing this, the more effective you become, and the more you believe in yourself and prove to yourself that you are really who and what you are. The power to know this is immensely inspiring and uplifting for you, and for those with whom you interact. It is your divine task, the reason why you are currently incarnated on earth, so be mindful of this, and remember that you are divinely guided at every moment if you simply allow yourself to accept and follow that guidance or inner knowledge. So enjoy the peace and contentment that flows from this recognition. You are never alone, abandoned, discarded or rejected, although, as a human, Sometimes you experience these feelings very intensely. You are a perfect child of God, love endlessly in every moment, make a point of recognizing and accepting this divine truth, honoring and loving yourself as God does. Love is within you, not outside of you, so stop looking for it out there. Once you truly accept and love yourself, as you were created divinely, and also accept that in your human state you make judgments about which you sometimes act, and that all of these are opportunities for learning, opportunities for forgiveness, and for others. Instead of dwelling on those mistakes, just let them go, and allow them to dissolve, as they most certainly will. Dwelling with them drains you energetically, and without a good purpose. Instead, go ahead, yes. If you feel the need and can do it, talk about it, and reinforce your intention to be just loving. God never judges you, He loves you and supports you in every moment. And if He did not want to let it exist, that would be impossible, because He created you to be one with Him, eternally, in perfect joy. You keep judging hard on your mistakes and others, and this causes so much pain and unnecessary suffering. All human beings make mistakes that hurt and offend others. But remember, to feel hurt or offended, is a choice you make. When you choose only love, you will not take offense or hurt, and everyone will have the ability and the loving force to make that choice. So excuse yourself when you believe you've offended someone, and then continue. If the other chooses not to accept his offer, he is choosing to be hurt or offended, but that is his free will, right? You have done your part, and you do not need acceptance of it. You are, like him, a divine child of God in the process of awakening. Honor this in both of you, just like your heavenly father. True forgiveness, unconditional forgiveness, offered wholeheartedly to the other and to yourself, will bring about peace and dissolve guilt, the guilt that drains and depletes. So forgive, and be at peace. With love. Soul.